Okay, this is a trig unit number two review, questions number 17 through 20. Number 17 reads factor and simplify. And we have three cosine squared theta plus four cosine theta plus one over cosine squared theta minus one. Okay, I have to factor out the numerator and the denominator. Uh, if you want to, and if it makes you feel better, you can say that cosine theta equals x. And if you write that, you get 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 over x squared minus 1. That looks like something that you would have had to deal with with college algebra or even um, back into 1033 if you took that class. So let's go ahead and figure out what this is. Uh, if you use trial and error, the AC method, whatever your choice is, you will get 3x plus 1 times x plus 1. And always, always FOIL that out to make sure you get back to the original uh, trinomial. And then in the denominator, uh, that is a difference of perfect squares. So this becomes x plus 1, x minus 1. So we don't want to leave it like that. We have to go ahead now and substitute cosine theta back in. So this says 3 cosine theta plus 1 times cosine theta plus 1 over cosine theta plus 1 cosine theta minus 1. So that's what we have right now. Uh, the next step you want to do is see if you can't uh, simplify some of these binomials. Since cosine theta plus 1 is exactly the same thing in the numerator and the denominator, I can cancel it out. And I'm left with 3 cosine theta plus 1 over cosine theta minus 1. And that is the answer for number 17. Let's go ahead and look at number 18. 18 says to simplify the expression. Okay, so if we're going to simplify the expression, I have cosine theta over 1 plus sine theta, let me go ahead and fix that plus sign there, plus tangent theta. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and rewrite tangent as sine over cosine. So cosine theta over 1 plus sine theta plus, once again, tangent is sine theta over cosine theta. Now I have to find a least common denominator which is cosine theta times 1 plus sine theta. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite each one. In the first numerator, I had cosine theta over 1 plus sine theta. If I find a common denominator, I'm going to be multiplying by cosine theta. What I do to the bottom, I better do to the top. Plus, the second one, I had cosine theta and sine theta was on top. So I'm going to multiply that denominator there by um, 1 plus sine theta. What I do to the bottom, I do to the top. Okay, so this is what it now looks like. I have a common denominator, cosine theta, 1 plus sine theta. And in the numerator, I have cosine squared theta distributing the sine theta I get sine theta plus sine squared theta. Rearranging this, I can write this as sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta plus sine theta all over cosine theta. And the reason I rewrote that is I wanted you to see that this is Pythagorean identity. Pythagorean identity says that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equivalent to 1. So 1 plus sine theta is what I have up in that numerator now. I'm going to take that out. And it's going to be over cosine theta times 1 plus sine theta. And I'm missing, uh, or actually I'm okay, I have 1 plus cosine theta. At that point, I can cancel 
sorry, I keep on hitting the wrong buttons up here. I can cancel these two binomials out, and I'm left with 1 over cosine theta. By definition, that is secant theta. Uh, so that's your answer, and if you look on your answer key, that is answer C. Okay, so this is my answer, secant theta. Okay, that was number 18, and as promised, I'm going to do number 19 with you as well. Okay, so 19 says to establish the identity. Okay, so it starts off by saying we have sine squared of negative theta plus cosine squared of negative theta equals 1. I'm going to go ahead and work on the left-hand side, and the reason why it's much more complicated than the right, there's nothing I can do with the right-hand side. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. First of all, I'm going to take care of the even odd. Sine is odd. Cosine is even. I'm going to go ahead and bring that negative out, so I get negative sine squared theta uh, plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Now, I can rewrite this as negative sine theta squared plus cosine theta squared and I'm trying to make that equal 1. Okay, so if I square a negative I get a positive. So now I have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta and by use of the Pythagorean theorem I know that this equals 1. So there's the identity. I made the left hand side look like the right hand side.